What is up you guys, Jordan here. Thank you for stopping by the channel once again. This week, I wanted to talk about facial hair. Now facial hair seems to be a pretty hot topic in the comments on my channel, so I figured today would be a good time to kind of talk about it. Before we jump into the video, if you guys like fashion, if you guys like travel, if you guys like grooming and stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, that way you know when I'm posting these types of videos. Uh, and if you guys want, you can also go to my Instagram, check it out there if you guys like fashion and uh, seeing a little daily dose of outfits and stuff like that. So the video is sponsored by Braun, which is amazing. Everything here is mine, my opinions are mine, but it's just so cool because I remember growing up as a kid, my grandpa would use Braun like on vacation, my dad used Braun when I was growing up around the house, and ever since I could grow a beard and all that kind of stuff, I was using Braun as well. So it's kind of like ran in the family, it's like a tradition, and it's just pretty dang awesome. Now the tools that I've been using are the Braun Series 3 Shaver, which is this one right here, and the Braun Beard Trimmer, which is this one right here. I use the Beard Trimmer because that's just what it does. It trims my beard. It comes with all these different attachments. It comes with this one, adjustable attachments for different lengths to get on your beard. It comes with a precision trimmer. It comes with like a body hair trimmer. It comes with a nose trimmer. It comes with even like a one and a two guard. So there's everything you need with this little tool right here. And then for the shaver, I use this under my neck because it just gives me a really close to the skin shave and if you really want you can use the uh, little precision trimmer here as well and because I've read so many comments on my YouTube and Instagram about facial hair and my beard and stuff like that these are the tools that I use to achieve the styles that I get so whether it be for like a first date or an interview or just going to school or you just don't know how to style your facial hair the way you want I use brawn and that's what I've always used and yeah with all that being said Facial hair is an amazing accessory to your outfit, to your overall style, and there are so many things that you can do with it. Now, a lot of this is going to be your own personal taste, and it's gonna really tie into what your personal style kind of dictates or what it says about you. So right now I'm gonna go over kind of like a lot of the more popular facial hairstyles that you see out there right now. The first being kind of the beard or the mid-length beard. This is gonna kind of give you a very masculine look. It's a very mature look. It's gonna make you look older, but it's also gonna make you look very classic and also very rustic. When I think of like a beard or like a mid-length beard, I think of like a very old Italian man and they just look so cool and they look so dope. And then their style to go along with it just looks absolutely amazing. It's just like a very classic looking man. And I think that looks pretty perfect. Next up, we have stubble or kind of like the five o'clock shadow or like the scruffy look. Now this, in my opinion, is a really good look that anybody can pull off. It's a very kind of, it's like that bad boy look. It is the, the grungy kind of dirty look, something that looks like you don't really care that much. It looks kind of sloppy, but on the other hand, it's nice and tidy. It's upkept, it looks clean. I remember my grandpa had a like five o'clock shadow slash scruff the whole time I was growing up and he was a mechanic. He had like, his hands were always dirty and he just, it just went really well with what he does and who he was, um, but it wasn't like something that made him look sloppy. The next style that's really popular is the goatee or the longer hair on the chin with like the short sides. Now this was, when I think of this, I think of something that is going, someone that is classy, sophisticated, well put together, elegant. I think of like Robert Downey Jr. I think of like Leonardo DiCaprio. I think of Johnny Depp. All very well put together men with really nice styles that are just very clean and classic and just kind of like, you know, like Sherlock Holmes. Just very kind of, very dapper, very elegant, very kind of like swanky if you will. <laughs> And another very, very popular beard trend right now is kind of like the more modern faded beard, which is kind of like what I got going on right now. So it is basically a beard that kind of blends in with your sideburns and your hairstyle. So it gives a really nice, like faded gradient look. Um, but it also kind of ties in a lot of the other aspects from other beards or other facial hairstyles like the beard or the mid-length beard, the scruff, a lot of things that can just kind of blend but give you kind of the best of both worlds. Now if you guys can grow facial hair and you have the chance to do these facial hair types, I definitely recommend doing that, especially if your personal like wardrobe style falls in the category of something like a very classic dapper man, then I will go maybe a little bit of 
like a beard or a mid-length beard or if you're just very elegant put together and you want to just grow something on your chin and keep it nice and short here go for like that goatee or kind of thing like that if you want to look grunge you want to look cool and the girls tend to like the five o'clock shadow and the stubble go for that right there so there's a lot of things that you can do that kind of really go together like a cog um, your facial hair and your style itself now to achieve these facial hairstyles you're going to need a grooming set that helps you get that look you want something that's going to be easy something's going to be effortless something that's not going to tug and pull at your skin or your hair and for me I use and I love brawn. Like brawn is my go-to. My grandpa back in the day used brawn. I remember watching him always, like every three or four days, he would go in and trim the facial hair that he has so he had that stubble. My dad used brawn, and now I get to use brawn. So, and I, I'm also very proud to say that I am partnering with brawn for this video as well. So it's just like a, a life, like a family tradition, and now I get to work with them. So it's kind of cool. So when it comes to trimming my facial hair, I use the brawn trimmers right here and it comes with like a plethora of attachments. I use all of these right here. These just give you different lengths on the beard. And for me, that's perfect because I really like to go from that modern beard kind of look, that faded look. So I like to go from very short where it blends in with my sideburns and my haircut all the way to like a very longer and fuller beard on the chin. I usually go with like a three or like maybe even a two or a three on the back here and then I section it off. So like one, two, three sections. So I start with like a three millimeter and I go to like a five or a seven and I go to like an 11 or a 13 millimeters on the chin. So it's gonna be a graduated kind of fade from very short to longer in the chin that's gonna give me that more sleek, more defined structured look that I really, really like. It helps my face kind of build like a jawbone and stuff like that. And then what that does is it gives me the versatility to look very classic, like when I wanna wear suits and be dapper and give me that classic rustic look. But it also gives me that more modern, um, elegant kind of look when I wanna dress more casual, more, um, street styled I guess you could say so the versatility of my wardrobe also goes in the hand with the versatility of my facial hair and my beard and when I want to get really close really smooth really tight to the skin I use the brawn razor right here the electric razor I like this because I can also take it in the shower so I don't have to do it and get all messy on the sink but I just use it under my neck right here I use it right here and it also has a uh, precision trimmer for you guys like on the goatee area or the mustache or the, the neckline or something like that. So Braun pretty much has everything that you need that I need to achieve the facial hairstyles that you want. Growing up, I had no facial hair at all. I remember I used to have like little peach fuzz mustache and I used to only grow hair right on the sides of my chin. I looked like Wolverine. Um, it really is a versatile thing. The versatility of the beard really matches like my style and I think that is kind of the key when you guys are thinking about facial hair and doing stuff like that. Get stuff that kind of works with you, what resonates with you and kind of goes along with your style as well. You don't want to look too out of place with your you know, facial hair and your style looking like a little out of whack. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed. We covered kind of the most popular facial hairstyles that are out there right now. Kind of covered how I get my facial hair and then also the products that I use with bronze. So I want to leave you guys with a question. I want to know all of your style dilemmas. I want to know if you guys have trouble asking your friends for style advice because you don't know how. I want to know if you have any type of dilemma with your style and how I can help you with that. If you don't know what to dress to an interview or a first date, anything that has to revolve around your style dilemmas, let me know and then go follow my Instagram because I'm going to be answering all of them there. If you guys want to check the description below, I'll have all the links down there for you. I'll have Braun. I think they're absolutely amazing. I use them. My family's used them for generations. Um, and they're also really affordable and really high quality. So you guys should check them out. And with that, don't forget to leave me those style dilemmas. I'll be talking to you guys really soon. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.